Yeah, this this uh, cross tour, <laughs> look what it came with. It came with a, I mean, just about every doohickey. Man, doohickey seems to be my word. Doohickey that one could imagine. There's my spin doctor, Alan Wrench. <laughs> what else I got in here? Might find a hundred dollars. Um, kind of has a cool, uh, so has a cool, hard to do with, but I went one hand. Which I then mount under here. Mounted under here. I mount it under here, and that becomes my front camera. Hey, hey, everybody. Big Mike on the mic coming at you. Como Street, February 21st. Mounting the camera, the cross tour camera. Great camera, great price. Can hardly beat it. Uh, yeah, just mounting that sucker up. I got some cool stuff to show you. Got this uh, Como Street rider jersey. Really cool. Yeah, it's like Christmas when you get a new kit. Um, you can pick one of these up at uh, Two Hubs. I'll probably make a million dollars off of it, something like that. It's huge. Um, they fit LA. I like the LA stuff. It's about a size too small, so large and large. Let's have some fun with edi editing. Editing. Boom. <laughs> I got Old Glory on the top and Old Glory on the bottom. Anyways, let's catch up with some of the action. the cooks climb look at these guys flying big thomas tiger on the front just hammering like a mofo and we got all the other well you're a heavy hitter if you make it this far up cooks on como street you better bring it these guys are going good they're all well they're all fit look at my watts look at my heart rate look at my cadence um there's <laughs> jim man one of the most experienced cyclists in SoCal just hanging with the fast guys. He's at least my age, maybe a little bit younger, maybe a little bit older. <laughs> it don't matter, but these guys just hammering. And they're in the lead here. Um, windy, windy day. Uh, we're getting up here towards the top of the first little camelback hump, as I like to think of it, at the top of Cooks. And I'm gonna slow down here a little bit. I know there's a larger group behind. I want to get some video of them and just, you know, just liking, uh, just, just liking how these guys are moving. Got Nick there. Got some guys I don't, man, guys, sorry if I don't know, um, everybody, but look at these guys just hammering, just riding away from me as I, uh, as I slow down. So very good, <laughs> very good footage on a, just a beautifully, well, a, a windy, windy day. Did CV yesterday, a little chillier. But uh, on Sunday here on Como Street, <clears throat> temperature not too bad. So I'm going to stop, wait for some guys here at the top, and get on and get on their wheel. So I've got two guys here thinking there's a much bigger group behind me when there wasn't. So I got Paul, and Paul is in the red jersey. And we got this guy in the blue jersey who's on Paul's wheel right now as I'm getting up to him here on the descent. Watch us closely on the descent. So like I said, super windy. Got blue jersey guy. Um, more about him later. All good. But uh, super windy here. So if you keep an eye on us, you can see us actually, the wind's coming off our left shoulder and you can see some big leans under the left. Now, normally on the Cook's Descent, I can hit 40, 45 um, fairly easy. We're going 32, which is plenty fast enough, but not really that fast here on this uh, on this particular descent. So, and Paul being little, he's just getting blown around worse than the rest of us. But yeah, just keep an eye on us and you'll see, see right there, that's wind. And that's some serious wind. Look how he's leaning. It might not look like it all that much, but that's a pretty severe lean in windy conditions. So just be careful to the degree that if you need to pull over, you should do so. And if I remember right, there actually is a guy up here that did Looks like he pulled over because it was so windy, and then he's trying to get back in this road. But be careful doing this, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I managed to call that just right. Okay, 
So, uh, blue jersey guy. Um, Paul, I, I learned later, Paul told me that uh, he is a collegiate swimmer. So, hey, swimmer. Blue, blue, blue jersey swimmer guy, um, being a swimmer. An ex-swimmer, an ex-swimmer, an old swimmer. Used to be a swimmer myself. Um, yeah, there's actually a, a fair um, fair amount in common between swimming, at least from a fitness perspective, and uh, in riding. So anyways, we've got Blue Jersey guy, Paul in red, and myself. Now, these two guys are fitter than me, but um, it's just the three of us. No one else is catching us. The big group that I thought might have been behind us is not there. So we're going to trade pools as we go through the canyon here on a windy day. So we'll turn this into a just really a good... Um, well, we'll turn this into how to draft properly in a small group. And I'm not talking perfect theory here. I'm giving you real-world conditions on what this looks like. And if you notice, we, we weren't lined up there properly. And, and I reshuffled the, the three of us here from smallest guy in the front to biggest guy in the back. So, and Paul's not really a small guy, but he's a small guy in comparison to me. Heck of a climber and heck of a sprinter, just all around, very fit, always there. And I don't know um, blue blue jersey swimmer guy at all, but he did a, a great job and is very fit. So, uh, so the way you should be uh, drafting and taking pulls and getting into the rotation is he gives me the nice elbow flick there, which is well done. So we're pulling clockwise or around to the left. I'll try to add some arrows in in here in graphics um, as we go through this. Um, which means the wind should be off of our, uh, w when we're pulling that direction, the wind should be off of our right shoulder to pull clockwise. And to pull counterclockwise, the wind should be off of your left shoulder. That's the best way to do it. And again, I'll, I'll, I'll drop some, well, I'm dropping arrows in. <laughs> I'm going to go back, edit, and drop arrows in. So the problem uh, we had in Santiago Canyon was it was a swirling wind. So when you get swirling wind conditions like that, it kind of sort of doesn't matter. Um, what you want to do, though, is with your group, and really doesn't matter how big the group is, is, you know what? Unlike swimming, we can talk when we're riding our bikes. So the guys that you're riding with, talk with them and figure out how you're going to, which way you're going to pull. It's with, with people that are fairly new to cycling, they almost always want to pull clockwise or, you know, the, the way we're actually doing it here on this uh on this video, but really you should be drafting based on wind conditions and then second and then road conditions, right? So you, you got to look at both kind of uh, equally and just look at the conditions that are out there, those being the road and those being the wind, and then who you're actually working with and drafting with. Now, as you'll watch this, you'll see, you'll see how we're, how we're essentially rotating. So the guy in the front, he's pulling, and the guys behind are drafting. And if you uh, go back or rewind and keep an eye on my watch, you'll see I'm down. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not pushing that many watts being in the draft, right? And sometimes I'm going to the right of the guy's wheel or to the left of the wheel, and I'm doing that just based on which way the wind is is going. And on this day, it was sometimes coming from the left and sometimes coming from the right. So, kind of swirling conditions, and we just decided based on those conditions to. Uh, draft uh, and take our pools in a clockwise direction. So what I'm doing here is, is I'm sitting on. <laughs> and that means, here's what that means. These guys are fitter than me and I'm getting tired. So there's no shame under those conditions to pull yourself out of the rotation and sit on the group. Just in a smaller group like this, just let the guys know that that's what you're doing. Just communicate to them, hey, I'm going to sit on. Just you know, shout out to them, hey, just go ahead or I'm going to sit on for a while and then you can get back into the rotation again. When you're in a in a big group, you can just kind of coast bet to the back of the group or mid-pack and then slot yourself back in there, rest, and then if you feel like going up front again, you can do so. Just get back into that rotation and, and start pulling again. But in a smaller group like this, you want to let the guys know um, what you're doing. Uh, that way you are not... Uh, disrupting the rotation, right? You don't want the lead guy to put too big of a, a gap between him and the guy behind him because it makes that guy behind him do extra work when he should be resting. So these guys just did an excellent job. Both, um, even uh, Blue Jersey swimmer guy, um, 
even though I've never, I, I may have seen him on Como, but I don't recall. And apologies for not knowing your name. Make sure, yeah, you come say hi to me or I'll figure out who you are to get you proper uh, kudos. But um, a very fit and experienced rider. Look at his, look at his cadence. Look at his uh, pedaling style. He's in a good position. Um, he does look like a swimmer. He's got those broad swimmer shoulders. So, oh, and look at that. He's on a Trek Madone. What a great bike. I just happened to ride one. So I'm a little bit biased and partial. All right. So being a bigger guy, we're on a descent here and it's only fair play. <clears throat> so if the little guys are doing all the work on the uphills, the big guys should be doing the work on the downhills. Yeah. Turning our, uh, all that potential energy at the top of the hill that we work so hard to get to into kinetic energy on the downhill. So only fair play. <clears throat> and again, just two, um, just really very competent and fit cyclist, paying attention, keeping their eye on the road, um, communicating and talking to each other, giving the pro elbow flicks when it's time to come around. And, you know, you really want in these cases to, to take, you know, take pulls that are, I would say in a, in a group like this, 20 to 30 seconds, somewhere around there, 15, 15 to 30 seconds, and just be consistent in the amount of time that you're doing those pulls. So let's see. Let's see what happens to my watts here as I ramble on. So am I gonna am I gonna do my work and come through and help out the our little squad of three? This guy's taking a nice long pull. So and he's fitter than me. And I'm probably going. You know what? I'll let these guys pull a little longer and harder than me um, since they're uh, since they're fitter there. And you know he was he's that's the way to do it too. If 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 you you know. When you're ready, <laughs> when you're ready to get back into the rotation, just give the elbow flick and uh, put the guy out there on the front. So this is a downhill. So if you're looking at my watts here, there's a little bit of a downhill grade. So I was using his draft for speed. And it, I, I, there's so much draft there. And it's just enough of a downhill that I hardly have to pedal in order to come around him. So again, you're looking at local local conditions and you know, what's the percent grade of the road, which way is the wind going, all that fun stuff. And you can see he's, I'm keeping him off to my, off to my left shoulder. Um, and, you know, this is, again, is one of those, uh, one of those times where if the wind is actually coming off of our left, we should be rotating to the right, which is not what we're doing. But the reason we're not doing it is because the wind is shifting and it's not consistently off of our left shoulder or right shoulder in this case. So if and when that happens, or if the wind is just pretty much head on, um, you know, rotate. It, it generally, cyclists, we will, we just default rotate uh, in a in a clockwise way. And I think we do this mostly because that's how we drive. <laughs> In the United States, well, and in Europe, except for the UK, those crazy, crazy uh, Englishmen and Aussies and whatnot who go the other way. But we, you know, we pass, um, we pass in a clockwise fashion, right? In general, at least we're supposed to. I guess it depends on, <laughs> well, the freeways in LA, let's just say it's uh, chaos. But we're, we're used to passing people the way we're passing people here on the bike. So that's, in general, the best way to do it. All right, so we're getting close to Irvine Lake here. There's a couple little um, short little kickers. And usually on Como Street, this is where people are starting to jockey for position on that final penultimate climb. But these guys are uh, more, fit, more fit than me, fitter than me. They're better than me. <laughs> They're in better shape than me. So... I'm pretty much at the end of my rope here, and you'll see these guys are just going to essentially ride away from me, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut things down as I get up, uh, as I get under the uh, climb proper up Dump Hill, which is the, I guess, penultimate climb here on the ride with Irvine Lake just off to our right shoulder. So great job, guys. These guys were, I, I really like, uh, one, of the, one of my favorite things to do on a bike is what we just did right there, and that was uh, a small group um, working hard, trading pools, working together, um, out on the, uh, out on the road. Um, and it's just, it's just fun to do. I, I really like drafting swimmers draft too, not in a race,
but why we're working out. There are some races, like a tri race, where you've got a bunch of people in the water where you draft. But um, in workouts, swimmers we draft uh, used to draft a lot. Look at these guys just right away from me. Great job, guys. Great job, Paul. Um, great job, Blue um, Jersey guy. Here's me afterwards in my Como Street new, brand new, first time riding Como Street jersey after being shelled and and just. Yeah, just wiped out. So we're on the descent here in Jamboree after we turn off Santiago Canyon back out, down onto Jamboree. Um, again, in those windy windy day conditions, we usually get a tailwind here, but didn't really have it. Got Dan here. We got Dave in the background. I think Till's in there. There's a Derek in this group. Yeah. So Till is uh, from Germany, and on our descent down, I, I attempted to speak German to him and he told me my German wasn't very good and I shouldn't speak it anymore. So I'm crushed. Got David Dang there too. These guys are looking beat up as well. It's tough riding in the wind, <laughs> especially on Como Street. All right, so that's uh, the big mic on the mic, uh, how to draft, pull, rotate uh, lesson, if you will, um, in my new Como Street jersey, which if anybody wants to buy one, just hit up Monty at Two Hubs. And, you know, Monty likes to make a deal, so just make sure you ask him for the Big Mike deal. <laughs> He'll be forced to give you a, a decent price on what I think is a great jersey. I like the LA stuff. Um, you know, that the cameras that I'm using, um, this one here is the GoPro, but most of the video that I shot uh, was the front camera, which was the cross tour that you saw me mounting there in the beginning. If you're interested in that camera i want to say it's around 80 bucks just click on the link that i provided and you can see what that looks like or what that costs but that's a great entry-level camera without having to spend three four hundred bucks <clears throat> it comes with all every little doohickey you could possibly imagine and i'm starting to sound like a used car salesman but i like cycling it's awesome and look just look just look at this is so cool <laughs> so not as cool as surf videos but pretty cool. All right, uh, we're gonna pull into the coffee shop here and uh, call it a Como Street. All right, everybody, um, great riding, good times. Thanks for letting me latch on again for a little bit. June's gonna be here quick and I'll be in shape. I'll be at the front of the Peloton and we'll be killing it. Why are these guys riding so slow? It's downhill, I'm not going that fast. Is there anybody in front of me? Am I drafting off anybody? Not that guy. Oh, hey. Uh, Derek. I think Derek. Fairly new addition to Como Street. What's up, guy? V very fit. Fun to see um, folks out here that really want to get into cycling and are just every week making gains. Yeah, look at him go. Cool stuff. Um, all right, like I said, back into the coffee shop. Um, and uh, th Again, this is the traditional place. We, uh, we go. Coffee for everybody. Um, new guy always buys. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, we'll see you out there, everybody. Have a good time uh, on you with your bikes, and uh, we'll catch you on the road. <laughs>